Your Excellency John Dramani Mahama, leader and flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress. Comrades, to save time, I'd like to write on the earlier courtesies established by my national chairman, Samuel Ufushuan Pofu. My short presentation this evening is to emphasize the importance of thinking outside the box in solving very difficult problems. Let me begin by telling you a very short story. There was a government factory that specialized on the production of underwear. At the close of business every day, the manager realized that there were shortages in the products. So the most obvious thing he decided to do was to conduct very intrusive searches on the employees. But this did not lead to finding the solution. So one watchman just said that, Mr. Manager, instead of searching the workers as they were going out, can we consider searching them when they are coming in? The manager didn't find it uh, interesting to pursue that action. But somehow, he wasn't getting the solution, so one day he decided to give it a try. Ladies and gentlemen, he found the solution because he realized that half of the workers when coming in, had no panties. <laughs> so, any time they work and they are going back, they would then take some of their panties, go to the bathroom, and then wear them. So the searches that were conducted as they were going out did not find anything. Each person was wearing just one panty. This is an important lesson to you about how we need to think outside the box in trying to find solutions to difficult problems. 28 years ago, when it became necessary for the Ghana to have a new constitution. The leader of the revolution at that time, President Jerry John Rawlings, realized that even before independence, for the years leading to independence, Ghana had been having constitutions upon constitutions and the average lifespan for each constitution was about three years. After independence, the story continued. And later, the incidents of coup d'etats came in. So after every three years, there was one coup d'etat or the other. But we were looking for a constitution that will last and to help us to establish a lasting democracy. So President Rawlings said, comrades, all these past constitutions have been put together by technocrats, university professors, lecturers, lawyers, accountants, and so on. But they were all not surviving. So can we think outside the box? Instead of us technocrats drawing a constitution for the masses, can we allow the masses to come and draw the constitution for themselves? And so 
He invited hairdressers, butchers, traders, fishmongers, farmers, fishermen, all over. And when we came together in the consultative assembly, some of the technocrats under the guise of uh, Buzia Dankwa Club, the Ghana Bar Association, were teasing us that they could not sit side by side with butchers and fishermen in writing a constitution. And so they were not going to participate at all. We persisted and developed the constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, for 28 years now and counting, that constitution has survived and it still goes on and on and on. 7 weeks ago we were here at the UPSA hall to also present to you the product once again of a thinking outside the box because since independence in search for inclusiveness political parties have been looking at whether the best way of getting inclusivity is to bring somebody from Navrongo and another person from Aflao to be president and running mate. Some were saying, let us choose one Muslim and one Christian. Others were saying, let's choose a Pentecostal and a Methodist. President John Dramani Mahama felt that the only way to solve this problem is again to think outside the box. So he decided that all these balances are inferior. The only God-given balance that will solve this problem is the gender balance. And so he chose Professor Nana we are back again to the UPSA Hall to present to you another product of outside-the-box thinking. And it is the People's Manifesto. For the first time in the history of any political party in this country, we are presenting to you a manifesto that was not developed by leaders of the party who have arrogated themselves the power of thinking for other people. But ladies and gentlemen, we are presenting to you the product of the people's own thinking, which we have put together, polished, and develop into implementable programs. So I am very confident that the age-long problem of underdevelopment for this country is going to be solved once and for all by the People's Manifesto. The manifesto that is derived out of what the people think is good for them. We ask the people how they would want to see Ghana in the next four years. What country they envision to live in in the next four years and how to build that country. And it is out of this conversation that the People's Manifesto was developed. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very confident that NDC will once again solve the national problem by this outside-the-box thinking product that we will be presenting to you this evening. Good evening.